So today was the day that the 4K edition of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles arrived with the bonus disc that promised over an hour of never-before-seen deleted and extended scenes totaling approximately one hour and 15 minutes for about 75 minutes worth of found footage. Now, I have to say, was this worth the anticipation? Most definitely. Was it worth it in the end? I would say 75% yes, because so much of what we as fans were waiting for for such a long time did eventually surface in this found footage. There was the famous deleted scene showing the exploding beer cans, which wet the bed that vibrated in the first motel that Dell and Neil stay at for the first evening. There's the Pizza Boy character that's played by Gary Riley, who was in the film Summer School, which also was released by Paramount the same year, 1987. So he is now given a full uh, performance now in the deleted footage that was um, put on this bonus disc. So you get to see some of Gary now as the Pizza Boy. There's extended footage on um, the morning after, after the famous Those Aren't Pillows scene, where in, I guess it's the diner either inside or next to the motel, where Dell apparently gets the uh, waitress to forget about their check by pretending to be a health inspector. But that waitress now has a speaking part in the found footage. There's a lot of footage dealing with just the very first night that when I decided to bring up the um, display of time on my Blu-ray player, it was at this point that I had already been watching 40 minutes of the 75 minutes that was put on this bonus disc. So I started to think, you know, just this first night alone, we're starting to get a little bit long here. And I mean, it stands to reason. The original cut of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is said to have been almost four hours long. And a lot of it just seems to be kind of almost like, I guess the word I'm looking for is fodder. Just this general, genu general, pardon me, I can't speak, general uh, kind of sense of feeling almost like they're trying to do another version of The Odd Couple by showing Steve Martin and John Candy paired up in this situation where, you know, neither can stand the other, yet neither can live without the other in this situation and get on to the ultimate goal of just getting home for the holiday. And it's a nice, you know, feeling, because, I mean, I'm a huge fan of The Odd Couple, which also was produced by Paramount. Um, this is not The Odd Couple, though. This is a completely original story by John Hughes. But the idea of one man who's so, you know, by the book prim and proper, whereas you have this other guy who kind of, you know, flies by the seat of his pants, does stuff in the spur of the moment, and of course, you know, just cannot stop talking. And that is done at great length, of course, you know, with one of the first scenes that we get on this bonus disc of the deleted and extended footage, John Candy just pretty much letting loose, unfiltered, and uninterrupted. And, you know, as only John Candy can, he does a great job of it. I'm wondering if, you know, maybe some of this dialogue he's speaking is even scripted. I think for some of it, it might have actually just been John Hughes um, letting the camera run on John Candy and just saying, you know, hey, just, you know, here's the basic setup. Go ahead and we'll, you know, see how much we can get out of you just, you know, on camera for the next couple minutes. But I don't think that it was a complete loss. I think this is a very worthwhile purchase. Many people have already gotten their hands on this almost a week in advance ahead of those of us who had to wait today for it to be officially released. So I'm interested in watching other people's thoughts on this. I'm definitely going to watch um, one video that was just uploaded, I think, yesterday 
by one of the YouTube channels that I follow, Hats Off Entertainment, which was one of the real big pushes, I think, to get this release going with the um, footage being found. Again, it's from the archive of John Hughes himself, and I'm just so ecstatic about that. The fact that this came from the family of John Hughes, I don't know who in his family got access to this. They say in a disclaimer before the footage rolls on the Blu-ray that it came from a personal archive that John Hughes had, and this was off of a VHS tape that he personally owned. I read for years that all this footage was somewhere in the vaults of Paramount Studios. Most people say that over time that's probably deteriorated and the footage is probably not even usable. So somehow, unbeknownst to a lot of us, John Hughes had his personal VHS copy of a semi-director's cut of this film in which this footage was utilized for the Blu-ray. The only thing I wish that could have been done was, I wish there might have been um, maybe some sort of introductions before these deleted scenes, maybe by um, either surviving members of the crew or even members of John Hughes's family saying, you know, what you're about to see is this, some funny little tidbits of trivia. I mean, the footage clearly speaks for itself. And what we get, and I'll show you on the screen up here, we basically get a single static menu here of all the scenes and the information in the parentheses lets us know what type of footage it is, if it's an extended scene or a deleted scene. And you can play them all, which is what I did, or you can watch each one individually. And for what they are as a description, it's kind of hard to remember them if you do the play all. You know, you're trying to commit all of these to memory by what they're titled. But, again, I think they were very, very cool to watch. Um, it's almost like having a whole separate road movie, really, with John Candy and Steve Martin. Almost, I'd, I'd almost liken it to, you know, again, a little bit of The Odd Couple, and, you know, maybe even a little bit of um, Sideways with Paul Giamatti and, um, um, oh, what's the other guy's name? I, I can't remember the other guy's name from Sideways. Uh, oh, Thomas Hayden Church, that's what his name is. Yeah, I'd almost liken it to uh, Sideways with Paul Giamatti and Thomas Hayden Church, along with, of course, uh, The Odd Couple. But, of course, you know, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is always going to stand on its own. It's a very wonderful film, and this new 4K uh, Blu-ray package here with the bonus disc of the deleted scenes is definitely worth the purchase. I think it's probably going to be the last version of this film that I own on any digital medium, having previously owned a Blu-ray, as well as a DVD and even an original Laserdisc. So uh, kudos to the people at Paramount, and I highly recommend it for those who are fans of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Steve Martin, John Candy, and of course John Hughes. Uh, rest in peace both to John Hughes and John Candy. And I hope those of you who are thinking of picking this up are definitely uh, going to consider it now with this recommendation. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.